This is my brother's gift. Oh, Why are you laughing like that? What do you mean? You just lay back on my <laughs> It's about to be 12, y'all. Oh, Isn't that so cute? Wow. Merry Christmas, you guys. Right now we're on our way. Fabulous. Well, we're actually here at the store because we're gonna do some Christmas shopping. But today's Christmas Eve. You know, at this point it's a tradition to shop on the day of. But we're not shopping for a lot of things. We had to pull these said we were not gonna shop for anybody. Like we were just going to get the kids something. But I think I'm just gonna like not overthink it so much this time instead of getting everybody like something so like, I don't know, but. Extra. And then we're hosting today at our house. I mean, it's just gonna be my sweater coming over. My little sister Jasmine and David are coming over. I think Luis, Marisol, Karina, everybody's coming over tomorrow. So I wanna be like prepped, you know? I just wanna mm -hmm. be a good host, girl. So um, yeah, we're mm -hmm. actually here and we're gonna do some shopping, girl. Yay, Merry Christmas. Okay guys, we just got back home. We got a few things. We were able to get a few things, but we had to come back home. So my parents are out of town. And if I'm honest, like I don't know how to make like birria. I don't know how to make like pozole. None of that, so my sweater actually she is making pozole and we ordered birria from this bomb place in Riverside. It's called Birreria Little Tijuana, I think. It's pretty bomb. But you guys, I just went through the freaking garage. Let me know if you guys save the bags. Me and Brian always recycle them and they always come in handy for like birthdays, for Christmas, for all that good stuff. So yeah, we got some stuff, which I'll show you right now. I got Jasmine this really cute, which I'm gonna show you guys. You guys are gonna see this like after Christmas. But I got her this cute jacket. How Cute. We had talked about not getting any gifts for anyone, but I don't know we have all this time in the morning So I was like no like let's actually go and see what we could find But I want to double check if we have any wrapping paper in the garage girl because I'm pretty sure we do But we do have quite a few bags, but I feel like a lot of them are small so we might need bigger ones, and then I do want to wrap some of the presents. Oh my god, one of our little uh, fire alarms is going off. But, you guys, our plan was to donate to the NICU tomorrow. We were trying to get a hold of, I don't know if she said it was like the supervisor, or I'm not sure who it was, but we called like the NICU floor. We still had the number, obviously, when we would call for like updates for, for Brian Tito. She told me that the hospital just doesn't, in general, like it's really difficult to do donations to there. So, she told us to wait till Monday, which is the day after Christmas to speak to that person on the phone I was able to explain to her basically um, I told her I'm like you know we started this candle business you know the funds are going to we wanted the funds to go to the NICU they're going to go to the NICU regardless but like I told her I'm like the plan was to like donate to that NICU where our son was born is there anything that you could do to help us and she was like I'm sorry like you have to wait for my day she's like that's a beautiful gesture she's like you know just tell them all of that and um, hopefully they let you I already have a plan B if that doesn't work out I'm just going to have moms that are in the NICU DM me so I could just send out the money because we're doing the donations period. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy because you know the, the whole NICU stay with us. It was very difficult with the COVID guidelines which you know made a lot of sense but I feel like in general she told me in general for years and years and years they don't allow donations so I was like that is so tragic so I explained the whole storyline to her. I told her how my son was there last year he didn't make it. We made this candle business in memory of him and we want to donate the funds and she was like just go ahead and tell them so they're giving me like they're still giving me a chance to speak to that person she's like just tell them the same thing you told me and hopefully they let you she's like but if they don't you know if there's any way you can get in touch with and get in touch personally with Nikki parents that's like the only way which is fine that's like the plan b that i had in my head i'll figure it out but like we are donating this money i'm just sad that it's not like on christmas day but you know she told me on the phone she's like you know if it's for the intention of you know christmas Christmas. one day's not gonna hurt but yeah I really wanted it to be tomorrow but she made a great point it's still around Christmas time and yeah so that's the situation with that you guys I will keep you guys obviously updated but I'm gonna pack or put the presents in these bags I want to go through the garage and see if I can find wrapping paper and then we should be heading back Brian's gonna be also going like after to get drinks and stuff because we want to get creative with our drinks and all that so we love hosting and we love doing everything the day of Okay, next stop was Ross, y'all. You guys, if you guys want to freaking buy kids presents, like the toys of it all, girl. Brian literally got like toys for his friends. I'm like, wait, hold on, what? They're collectibles. Hmm? Okay, next stop. 
Target. Target, but Starbucks first. <laughs> we're trying to do little gifts because we're gonna play games. What? Thanksgiving is over. Isn't it? This looks busting. Okay, update. We're home, you guys, but we are a little behind. We have to still pack a lot of presents. I'm actually currently packing Brian's right now, you guys. Oh my god, shout out to Elias Boutique. I ordered from her. It's my friend. She went through a very similar situation. She lost her daughter, and she started her boutique. I'll show you guys when Brian opens it, but it's a really cute crew neck, so I got that for Brian. I also got myself one. Actually, it's right here. Let me show you. But it's good because Brian right now is at... I think he went to... Go get. He wanted to get drinks and stuff, but I got him a crew neck like this. It says grief and joy can coexist. I absolutely love her. Her boutique is called Elias Boutique, which was her daughter, Elia. It's so freaking cute. I wanted to wear it, but I didn't want to show like Brian because then he would get an, an idea how his looks, but it's like the same one. I put his in a box. I need to wrap it and you wrap a lot of gifts, you guys. Lots and lots of gifts. This is how the couch is looking, girl. It's looking crazy, but we got the little jazz playing. I need to pack all these presents, girl. And I got this candle burning from Bath & Body Works. We got a bunch of toys from Ross, you guys. Ross is the place. I know it's like really late already. Too late for y'all to go, but I did all my shopping at Ross and Burlington. And this is some of the trees currently. I'm finally ready, you guys. She's doing the natural hair today. Literally, we just got done getting ready. Like, what is that fucking reason? We are making little candy cane drinks. You guys, the drinks look so cute. It's literally just cranberry. The rim is sugar and the red sugar. So it's like little white and red sugar with candy cane. It's so cute and simple. Really? Okay, guys, this is the present. You guys, me and Jasmine are gonna change into PJs. Best believe. <laughs> we changed. Oh my god, David, just get over it. As soon as you press play. <laughs> We're about to throw it down in the kitchen and make some hot chocolate. <laughs> Let's do this, Gorge. You guys Ooh. You guys think it's ready? Let me let it sit a little bit. Best believe. <laughs> so when I took, I was like, all right. David, go it. take it. I've had like the Wait, the way, it, it was good. It was good. Okay. My mom took a sip of it and just spit in her boyfriend's mouth. Oh my god. Her face. <laughs> <laughs> so, Why yeah. do you have a pumpkin, girl? You don't like my chocolate? I'm not saying that joke, but alcohol is bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, tell me to stop. Take the pumpkin on the side. <laughs> you better eat up. No, I don't want. I don't. No. Yes, girl. I love it. It's about to be 12, y'all. Ooh, you're so beautiful too. My love it. Show your uh, candy cane, girl. <laughs> Why does it look like a good tab on it? <laughs> These little candy canes are meant to be in hot chocolate. Why is it like that? It's just like melted with the heat. And they're meant to be for hot chocolate. The countdown starts. Oh, we should be playing music. Mm. Oh! Christmas, you guys. Christmas. Hold on. This is my brother's gift. Why did you laugh like that? What do you mean? What's wrong with my gift? Why is it? What do you mean? What? What is it? What's wrong with my gift for my brother? What is wrong with this? Everybody is judging my gift for my brother, but it's right here. Do you not want your gift? Tell me if you don't want it. Say no, it's a snowman. Oh my god, you guys, this is the Yeah, and a lotion, and I got you some hand sanitizer, like what? Jasmine, because you're glitz, I, I got you a glittery one, like why? The little cake? This is cute, this is actually cute. Oh, Isn't that so cute? Can, do it, can, you? can coexist, isn't that so cute? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> love you. 
Okay guys, we're about to build gingerbread houses. I literally used sugar to melt this because I saw a lady on TikTok. She uses it as glue, literally, to glue the gingerbread. But y'all know when like you start using the frosting, it never works. It's always falling apart. Please be careful when doing this. Ooh. Whoa. This is hella hot. They're so tiny. <laughs> Wait, girl, tell them to be safe when they do this. Yeah. Sounds big, mama. Should we do it? Just glue back on mama. <laughs> yes. Y'all, so this gingerbread house came already glued with frosty. Jasmine is obsessed with the, with the sugar. Okay, so she was trying to take it off, but she literally broke it. What is the damn reason? Can I play music? You guys, it's literally stuck. <laughs> you should have covered that with frosting, girl. Good morning, you guys. We are going to the cemetery. Still got some presents under the tree. I feel like these are all like for like the kids. Yeah, because we still have my family coming over today, so this is all them. But yeah, we are going to the cemetery, and I honestly hope Starbucks is open, girl, because I haven't ate anything. I was cleaning up the kitchen, and I didn't eat, but we have a lot of leftovers. I just need, like, a little coffee and a cookie, girl. And you guys, today is freaking hot. Yesterday was a little warm, too, girl. Like, yeah, we had a double night, think. We, me and my brother were even outside, like, chilling. We literally had to double and think about turning on the fireplace. I was yeah, cringing, and the whole last week was off. freezing. Like, I don't get it. Hey, Gorge. Hey, y'all. <laughs> the two most excited people in the family. Uh. Hi, Mia. Hi, Mama. Mia. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mia. <laughs> we actually ended up ordering literally like right when I got here I ordered the Savira tacos luckily our favorite birra place was open because our freaking pozole is a perder, you guys I forgot to boil it this morning I, the first thing I did this morning was freaking clean completely forgetting to put the food away but we still have birria which is good and then we ordered um, 15 quesadilla tacos Luis came through with milk for the hot chocolate he brought like um, nachos and all that good stuff mm. show the place babe so cute. Mia's going through it, y'all. Yeah. 